guy. I think that he's a patriot based on my definition of a patriot of sacrificing something large in order to help the greater good of the country. And he, sacri he sacrificed his... And he All right. Easy, Mahoney. Let him talk. All right. Militant. No, like, what is more important? What would you say is more important? Helping black people in equality in this country or standing for the anthem when many terrible people who I would never consider patriots stand for the anthem? So I don't think that it's as much of a symbol as loving your country as actively doing something to help it like Colin Kaepernick has done. Okay. So. I, you can do both, but I don't hey. think. I don't think you have to stand for the anthem to love your no, country. No, so here's the one thing I will say. Not w I want to make it very clear. Not once do I think they should be forced to stand for the anthem. I think they should be able to voluntarily do whatever they wish to do. I think they're making fools of themselves, quite honestly. Um, and I think that the criticism towards them is warranted and right. And so when you, when you have an act of civil disobedience during the national anthem in protest of what exactly? No, tell me. Tell me. Yeah, they are pro. Hello, guys. What's up? Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Now, do you see how we could pull out real simple? We're going to be checking out a quick video by Charlie Kirk, um, where he destroys a Black Life Matter supporting athlete. In this clip, it um, shows where um, Charlie Kirk destroyed the students, and we know how the world is. Everyone is literally woke, and sometimes they get to support the wrong thing. But with no further ado, let's just check this clip out and let's see how Charlie Kirk went down the drain to destroy these athletes. Let's go. Go ahead. Uh, first of all, do you mind if I film the question? I just want to... No, you're good. Whatever. All right. So, obviously... We got I'm plenty a... of cameras here, so you're not the only I, one. I just want to have it. But, like, <laughs> obviously, I'm a big Kaepernick guy. I think that he's a patriot based on my definition of a patriot of sacrificing something large in order to help the greater good of the country. And he, sacri he sacrificed his... Have you ever been Afghanistan? Yes. Have you ever been Afghanistan? Oh, shit. All right. Easy, Mahoney. Let him talk. All right. Military. These guys don't want to no, chill. No, let him talk. It's a, it's a, it's a Doug, viewpoint bro. held by. If you have by, a question, get on the stage. It's a view held by a lot of Americans, so I want to hear what he has to say. So can it's, we? So like the legitimate viewpoint. Him, I want to hear what he has to, to say. To dispel him, can we agree that going to war for your country isn't the only way to be a patriot? No, without a doubt. Okay, okay, thank you. I just want to. Yeah. So um, you've been criticizing, at least what I've saw on Twitter, the kneeling um, yes. of the NFL players. But yes. what I've seen since the kneeling is more social activism within the athlete community. A lot of money has been raised. Chris Long recently has donated his entire season game check after kneeling. Colin Kaepernick donated a million dollars to uh, many things, including Know Your Rights Camp. I just want to know, like, what is more important? What would you say is more important? Helping black people in equality in this country or standing for the anthem when many terrible people who I would never consider patriots stand for the anthem. So I don't think that it's as much of a symbol as loving your country as actively doing something to help it like Colin Kaepernick has done. Okay, so... I, you can do both, but I don't hey. think... I don't think you have to stand for the anthem to love your no, country. No, so here's the one thing I will say. Not w I want to make it very clear. Not once do I think they should be forced to stand for the anthem. I think they should be able to voluntarily do whatever they wish to do. I think they're making fools of themselves, quite honestly. Um, and I think that the criticism towards them is warranted and right. And so when you, when you have an act of civil disobedience during the national anthem in protest of what exactly? No, tell me. Tell me. Yeah, they are protesting <laughs> because they feel that black people are oppressed in this country in ways including education. There's education oppression. There's been housing discrimination still going on in this country. There's police brutality, which is still an issue in this country. Mm -hmm. There's lack of accountability for police when they do commit crimes. And that's what they've been protesting. So, so you believe that. during the national anthem, the song that represents the very fabric of this country is the appropriate time to do that in front of the flag, in front of veterans saluting? I, you, you feel that's appropriate? I am not. I, I want to make sure your position I, is clear. Yeah, I am not going to tell someone how to protest. There were uh, me people, neither. There I'm were asking people. if you think it's right. I think it's right, yes. You do? Were, yes. I believe that get your message out. When most people are watching something, most people can hear your message and you can help the most people. People were telling, like Rosa Parks, the bus is not a place to voice your Are you really mm -hmm. equating modern day protesting of the, to, to, 19, to, to blacks not being able to vote? Really? You're equating... I no, am, seriously. I believe that oppression... Are, are you really making a moral equivalent to kneeling during the national anthem of not being able to 
of Rosa Parks <laughs> I, in, in the 1960s? Look, I agree. Oppression is oppression, and I believe that any sort of protest against oppression is something that is a patriotic act, and unless it crosses way more lines like har physically harming people, you should not be told not to do something that helps people. No, I, I agree. I'm not telling they shouldn't be doing it. I think they're fools. I don't and, think that they're fools. And people have bled exactly. and died for that flag. I and, don't and that flag represents more than just a fabric. Let yes, me be perfectly it does. clear. Yes, it does. It's into me. You've said your piece. Now it's time for mine. Exactly. Let me say my piece. The flag and this country have and will continue to be the greatest symbol of freedom both domestically and internationally all around the world. Have always been. The flag of the United States of America symbolizes a couple different things. The white for the peace that we, that we strive here domestically and the blood of the veterans that died internationally for our freedoms and liberties. So you should agree, man. When, you, when, when athletes, who quite honestly, I would be hard pressed to understand why they believe that is an appropriate time for them to protest. It just, I believe it w goes directly insulting to the very fabric of the veteran community, to what the flag stands for, and what this country has always stood for. But more than that, the, the oppression that, that they are talking about, is kneeling really the best way to address it? Seriously. No, I, I'm at, I'm crit. Volunt How about they give away 90% of their money to local charitable groups? Why don't they run for office? Why don't they raise more money to do it? Why don't they start a business? Oh my God. Some people don't know the respect Americans have for the flag. Like, the flag is not just a flag. It's not just a fabric. It's not a, just a piece of fabric. It, it, it represents a lot of things. And for you not to honor this flag, like I feel like everyone that bears that flag or anyone that stands up for that flag is standing up for that flag with his or her life. Like because a lot of people died for that flag, and a lot of a lot of people literally died for that flag. And there's there's this history I watched um back then and about the flag that people had to be on their knees holding the flag and don't want to die. Like they, they, are, they are carrying the flag with their whole life because that's what represents the flag. It represents dignity. So people don't have, for me personally, I a lot of people are coming out to protest against most of the wrong thing and most of the things they don't literally know about. And to some points, to some points, I feel like this protesting before a government grants out protest to anybody or protest should go through rigorous process before they can allow people to just come out and protest because some people are literally protesting for the wrong thing. Why? A lot of Americans literally don't know what they are protesting for. They are only just to come out, carry the placard, carry the card, protest for anything they feel like is going on. And for me, the, the flag of the United States of America needs to be respected, needs to be carried with honor, and need to be regarded each and every time. Anyways, um, that'll be the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think about this clip. And I'll be so happy to come back with a lot more. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching and watch us for more. Peace and God bless you.